Good morning, CHS. Today is Friday, May 14th. Today is also a B-Day. If you'd like, you may now participate in the virtual Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's an important reminder that GNN is still looking for various students to interview for three very important upcoming videos. If a teacher you know is retiring, if one teacher this year has helped you out in particular, or if you just want to say goodbye to Dr. Gordy, please contact us at gnn at claytonschools.net and we will make sure to schedule an interview that works for you. Attention Clayton seniors, please make sure that you sign up to be a member of the Clayton Alumni Association by May 15th. All those registered by May 15th will be entered into a $500 scholarship raffle. The winner of this raffle will be announced at graduation. And if you want to register or you want more information, you can go to the website at www.claytoneducationalfoundation.org. The Clayton Educational Foundation also has a campaign underway to honor everything Dr. Gordy has done for this district. The campaign is accepting donations and all money from the donations will go to three book collections, one for each elementary school. The donations are being accepted through May 31st and to my left will be a link where you can go and donate. And that is all for me for this year's morning announcements. And yes, you did hear that right. This is the last week of announcements for the rest of the school year. You will still be getting emails and other things from teachers and other members of the staff, but no announcements will be coming through me or any other GNN members anymore. I just want to say thank you. This was a great experience, and I'm really glad that I got to be part of the announcements. Um, at the end of the announcements today, there will be some bloopers and also behind the scenes so you can better get to know everyone on the GNN team, not just me and the other on-air people. So we hope you will enjoy that. It is going to be really funny and just fun and very interesting because you guys don't really know a lot behind the scenes, but now you will. And with all of that being said and done, up next is Eli with the latest in CHS Sports. What is up, Greyhounds? I am here to give you the last sports report of my Clayton High School career. So, unfortunately for all of you guys, I'm graduating, so you're probably gonna miss me, but unfortunately for me, I don't really, have, I don't, there's nothing I can do. I, I'll show you guys, this is what my, um, this is usually what happens. I just open the website for the schedule. If you guys can see, I just open the schedule and um, just read off the list. But as you can see right here, we've got one game um, before playoffs. And I don't know, they don't tell me the playoffs date. So, district tournament against Rosati Kane on Saturday, May 15th for girls soccer. That's that's all I could tell you because this airs on Friday and I record on Mondays. So, peace out, Greyhounds. And thanks, Mr. Sywell and everybody else on the supporting staff of EPL that really made this year come together. It was pretty cool. See you, Greyhounds. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to Dinka Akana, Jacqueline Donaldson, Thomas Gustafson, Tenley Hall, Aziz Komaswinski, Patrick Mertz, Amon Nelson, Thomas O'Brien, Delaney Osborne, Milan Patel, Mark Pilot, Anthony Stamilio, Josie Stone, Zach Wang, Sabrina Whitmer, Olivia Whittle, and Deanna's own Brooklyn Hicks, Lucia Johnson, and JoJo So. Thank you and have a great weekend. Hey Clayton, so as you may have heard, this is our last week of morning announcements, and a lot of people don't realize how much work actually goes into making each video. So as a part of our final announcements, we wanted to give you guys a look into what goes on behind the scenes. Hello, my name is JoJo Stone, and here in GNN, I'm part of the initial production team what I do is I take the clips from our on-air team and I compile them into the video editor that we use called WeVideo. WeVideo is an online video editor, which means that multiple people can edit the same timeline across the internet. This is necessary because of the pandemic where we can't all be in one space huddled around one computer for editing. So what I have to do is I have to gather all the files and have them ready for the editing team. How I do that is through this spreadsheet where I take the files, 
I download all of them and then I place them into the timeline. I have to make sure that everything is there. Sometimes that requires contacting the on-air team to make sure they get their clips in. <laughs> Not always on time, but we get it done. Once I've downloaded all the files, I upload them to WeVideo. I make sure they're all in the correct order, and I trim down the edges of the clips so that the video flows smoothly, and so that the editing team can do their best work. What I do may sound like boring file management, and part of it is, but it's an essential part in making these morning videos possible. And I really enjoy it. I'm glad I can be a part of the team. and this tank top and this brown jacket. Hi everyone, I'm Belle. Welcome back to the... Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to Jinka Akanwa... Oh, shoot. Let's see who we got playing. Girls, soccer is playing Hazelwood. Oh, that's the wrong day. So I told her to get the hell out of my fort. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, it's fine. Sadly, I'm graduating. 
Actually, I'm pretty excited about it, but you guys might not care. Um, oh, I should probably turn the lights on. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll just, I'll just beat you head in. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll just beat you up. <laughs> um, sorry guys. I'll fix that. Oh, okay. Nope.